All right, down on the driveway, and I've always overlooked this tree because it's so crooked. It's the right diameter, and since I can cut it down in short little sections now with my windows in, uh, it should be good use for the cabin, so we'll take that one. We have a few logs in stock. This one here is about to go on a short end over there and then I got one over there already. So we'll get those up there and then we'll put that 12 footer on once we get them all into place and then we'll peel the rest of these, so. Look at how dark that one is. Who peeled that one anyway? That was like the first log I brought up here. So it was peeled like pff, a long time ago, but got a lot of cleaning up to do on that one. All right, nachos in and uh, drop them in. Looks good. Can't really count that as a one flip though because it's only one notch per log and the notches are pretty small just the way it was working out there so but hey on to the next thing put a 12 there now well i guess the wind didn't want you to see but it's on One flipper, if it fits. Uh, I'm not so sure about this side, but getting to the end of the day here and I wanna be done, so I might flip it and just leave it if it doesn't fit and then fix it tomorrow. fix it tomorrow. A beautiful Wednesday morning here. It's supposed to be mid 70s today. Monday all I did was dig on the excavator in the driveway and then yesterday you saw what I did with the log work. Um, I think I'm going to go dig for a few hours, come back up, then I'll go fix that notch over here, lower it down a little bit and keep working at it but we'll see you in a bit. had to wait for it. <laughs> Finished my road work for the day so while I'm down here I might as well fell a log like you just saw me do and haul it back up. Yeah, I'm stuck behind this tree and against that log. Guess I could get a little longer rope and just swing it from the bottom, but figure it out after lunch.
All right, well, after lunch and I didn't want to run up to the cabin, so I tried this puny little ratchet strap and, yep, that one broke. Now I went back to the pole barn and got some bigger equipment. We should be able to get it out now. Got to get over that stump. Step one's done. Now hopefully we can pull it out. Sometimes I waste so much time trying to save some time. Get my chainsaw and just cut that tree here that it's stuck on. All right, we got them up. It's warmed up. Now it's time to peel. Satisfying. You get a piece like that. came off two weeks ago. Halibark comes off today. But looking good. This, this is the tree from yesterday. One of those long ones that I've got all set up for my windows over there. And then there's a tree I just brought up. Got a 12 foot length out of it. A nice four foot and then a five foot and maybe even a little more here. But if I had all the perfect trees that were long and didn't have a whole lot of taper or curve to them, it would probably be a bad idea to do the windows, but um, my selection is not infinite. So I think it's it was the right choice now that I'm getting these smaller sections and I'm able to use them on the cabin. So pretty happy about that. All right, just grooved this one and that one to go on my ends here. So I'm gonna use the Bobcat. They're heavy. Throw those up there and we'll see you in the morning. I put the windows in. Morning. Finally back to this one. All right, second time to go. I got them dropped in. That one was like a canoe of a notch, but got it done. This doorway, we got to put a couple of ends on. I think it's my last three and a half, isn't it? All right, we're getting taller. All right, well, we're cruising here today. That was kind of a funky log too. That was that twisted one from the other day. Oh, look at the sunshine, barely a cloud in the sky. And until you point it over there, I think we got a storm coming in. Pick some things up and see what happens here. All right, storm's coming. I gotta get these on and then I'm out of here.
there we go. We'll get the, these hopefully dropped in tomorrow, depending on the weather. It's supposed to be on and off rain, I think. But now that they're up there, uh, the hard part's done. So we'll just notch them out and drop them in. But it was a good day. Got that whole back other side wall done. And then along this door, I got a couple dropped in. But made quite a few notches and good progress. So I'm happy with it. I hope the storm isn't too bad. But uh, if it is, we'll make it work anyway. Alrighty, see you tomorrow. Well, we had some rain, a little bit anyway. I'm not sure how much. Probably shouldn't drive down there because I just fixed it all, but I didn't want to carry my diesel all the way up to the excavator, so I'm going to risk it. Hopefully it doesn't tear it up too bad. But it's a little wet. Well, it's looking like the weather's going to hold off for a while. I'm going to work on notching them out and dropping them in. All right, me and this one had a battle, but I think I finally won it. Got that 12-footer drop on over here. I might be calling it a day. I feel good about this one. I don't think I've had one perfect fit with a double notch log this whole week, so I'm hoping the last one's the best one. That side's good, but that's the easy side. That looks good in uniform. Oh boy, come on. <clears throat> yes. We're good. That's where we're going to end it today. These walls here, here are almost five feet tall. This one might be five feet. I didn't measure it. I think it's a bit taller than that one, but that one's almost five feet. This one is probably five feet. So over halfway to the top. Looking good. These are my short walls. We'll get to stacking on them next week, but things are looking pretty good. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.